Hello Internet. Today a very short video. I just want to show you that I'm currently learning about Delta Lake ingestion, the advanced features, and I found some very interesting guidelines that I don't have to take a video, but I want to show you what I found. I want to share with you so that you can have a look at it yourself. Now, at first, directly at Databricks, databricks.com, discover Demos Delta Lake. You see here that we have here Delta Lake data ingestion demo. There is a very short uh, Jupyter notebook that's running, of course, on a Spark cluster. And it tells you within two minutes what you need to know from the meta perspective about the Databricks auto loader. You can have here the Jupyter notebooks, notebook one, that provides you here with the code. And as you can see here, increase it a little bit you have your cloud file somewhere either on aws at azure or google cloud and you have an auto loader with a different kind of functionalities that provides you an input a data input into your delta lake either triggered or whatever there is a very interesting uh, chapter about the conversion of the schema of the data and then the output you can use directly for machine learning or business intelligence. This is the notebook I provide you the link with. Or you have here another very short notebook if you prefer here. Stream files, yeah. Also available for you directly. But after this two minute notebook, I would highly recommend to you that if you go on the Databricks platform, on the YouTube Databricks platform, and you put in autoloader and you just let the system find you a video by directly by databricks on your autoloader capabilities i would highly recommend you this video from two months ago accelerating data ingestion with databricks autoloader and this video really really is interesting here originally by databricks and there is a gorgeous presenter it takes about an hour and he is really going with you in this hour through all of the details. And I learned quite a lot of this. So I don't think I have to provide you with a video. Go have a look at this video. I provide you with a link directly to this video right now, or you will find the link to this video by Databricks at the end of this video. Now, just wanna show you, the only thing that is missing here is exactly what is the timetable what you're interested in and if you go let's say for yeah first you ingest data a typical etl process and then at seven minutes you have the databricks auto loader so let's scrub forward to seven minutes and you see here what is the auto load and the optimized cloud file source for apache spark that loads data continuously and efficiently from cloud storage as new data arrives and then at about 14 minutes into the talk, you will get a real example here with Microsoft Azure, where he shows you the code, shows you everything, and then directly jumps into, just seconds later, into a Spark notebook, Jupyter notebook, where he gives you all the code, shows you exactly, goes cell by cell with you, executes the codes, and shows you about um, the Databricks autoloader. Now, interesting is if you just jump to, let's have a look at 20, 45, the Delta mm -hmm. implementation, because of course, we know that if you have some CSV files from the cloud files or whatever, TSV or whatever the, your data is, is, is Parquet files, and you have an autoloader, you wanna load it, of course, into your Delta Lake. And it's a very good presentation about how to uh, load this. And then at 22 minutes 16, you will get a demo notebook. I skipped, sorry, about the merge process, the Delta merge process, quite a complicated process normally in your data lake. This is a very nice description here of the merge process. And at 2540, yeah, let's just jump here you have again and then the Spark code exactly for you. Now, very interesting, it will be at 32 minutes and 30 seconds, 32, 32. 
Yeah, pretty. When he's talking about evolving schemas, this is a new feature, and I would highly recommend you have a look at this. It's a very good explanation. What is schema evolution? Why you need it? How does it happen? And at 43, gee, this is a, it's a very interesting uh, presentation. You will see the example, of course, from Asia, and then you will have this code executed in your Spark notebook, where you can really go from, from step by step, from cell to cell, to learn about schema evolution, and you see the Spark code in real time. Now, there's some interesting remarks. If you jump to 50, 50 minutes into the talk, there are some about some, some personal remarks from the lessons from an autoloader live. <laughs> and I think you can, it's some quite interesting facts and figures. If you work, or if you're experienced working with the auto, uh, Databricks autoloader, so this is a very nice presentation. I have to do nothing at all. I just follow this presentation. I personally, if you are new and if you are starting to use it, if you want to become familiar, if you want to have a good introduction into the topic and see some source code, some code execution, I would recommend this video for you. Give it a try, have a look at it. This two video, the first two minutes and then an hour video, give you a very good introduction into Databricks uh, autoloader functionality. And this was it for today. you find the link at the end of the video and it should be here right now for you on the screen. And this is it for now and I see you in the next video.